Mm. Ouch. That's a big bar. Ouch. More big bars. Okay. This is the base of the dam that we just walked across. This way. The lake's on the other side. And this blue sky that you're seeing up there. Okay. Nice enough in here, but this is just a, a seep from under the dam. What I'm interested in is the, is the not the spillway, uh, the runoff. You could hear it from up top. I'm fascinated by these things. I want to know all I can about how the environment reacts around it. Because what you have is this open area where the sun shines constantly and then it just immediately turns into woods. So there's a sharp zone. It's not, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's so well defined as you see the trees, tulip poplars, uh, white pine, everything growing right here together, right on the edges. Uh, and then you see ferns up the back of the dam. Let's see if we can get over to that uh, drain or runoff. Because I can hear it from the top of the dam. So I think there's a substantial amount of water. A little bushwhacking. Go off trail. This looks like something. Looks like a big old freaking tree. That would be, I believe, a hemlock, but it's kind of out of place up here. Well, not right here, apparently. Uh, she's up there. Be a good place to find a snake, probably. Come for it. Another seep. In the base of the dam. I'm never comfortable when I see that. Now you're seeing it with me for the first time. This smells extremely fishy. Fall my butt off in there. You see something fishy then. I'm not sure what this one is. I'm not sure about the, the brown slime or bacteria. That always bothers me when I see that. Let's see if I can hold them steady enough. There he is. Okay, so I'm thinking how to get back out of here. What I walked through wasn't much fun and that doesn't look like much fun. What do you think? Right at the back of the dam? Maybe. Maybe it's not full of briars. Let's go look. Go with me. Ah. Let's we'll see what we find. Tons of ferns. Whatever this plant is, I do not know. Different types of fern. Ah. Look at him. Now, if I'd have never come up here, this is wild grape. Ah, oh, love these things. Love the vines. Love the grapes, too. Here's one. Something's turned into a home of some sort. Huh. Whatever it was, it didn't make it. This does look like a good place for a snake. Well, we'll just have to coexist. There's one right there. Nope. Let's go this way. Sorry about that last little bit up the uh, back of the dam. One of the cruelest things I think a camera can do to you is tell you two, one of two things. Battery, depleted, 
card is full. And that's what happened over there on the back of the dam. A card is full. So I think we're going to do a little fishing while we're here. And this is my little small micro reel uh, that you might see in a previous uh, video uh, where I did a small review on it. Maybe I should just show you my reel. This is why I'm kind of sitting here. This is, I think, right here is the probably the safest place to put your reel. It's just laying on the back of your pack, and this is the one place. Unless I fall backwards and land on it, I don't think I'm going to break it. But when it's standing up, twigs and things catch it on the top. And if it's in the pack, all the pressure from packing and moving it around will break things. That's what happened to my last reel. It got broke. I thought I had it packed really well, but not so much. So let's we'll see if we can get this prepped and get it out in the water. If you can get out and hike, I highly recommend it. If you can't, then watch me on the next episode of Mike's Wild World. Thanks for watching.